To create a branching form, you need to create a Google form. You always want to go up into your settings cog on any Google form that you make. I like to automatically collect email addresses, and on the presentation tab, you may want to give a confirmation message. And if you want, you can turn on quizzes to make your branching quiz self-graded. Now in the form itself, what you're gonna have to do is create sections. So I'm gonna add a section and I'm gonna name it demographics. Now the way that you're gonna to wanna to do this is to set up all your sections first. So I'm gonna have a section for question one and then I'm gonna have a section for what happens if they get question one wrong. So I'm gonna do question one revisit and then a section for question two and a section for question two, revisit. And then I just like to have an end section at the end, right? So then what I need to do is in the demographics, I need to add a question, click the plus icon. By the way, these blue little shapes, I have the Equatio Chrome extension and it adds these images to the page. So if you don't have the Equatio Chrome extension, you won't see those. I ask for first name, I ask for last name, and that's my demographic section. Then here in question one, I'm only gonna add one question. And get my options. and I want to click the three dots. I want to shuffle my option order. You don't have to, but you definitely want to go to section based on answer. So when I select that, if they choose red, I want it to go to question two. This is why it's super important that you name all your sections first because notice that it says section five, but it's question two. So without you naming the section, it's going to be very hard for you to connect your branching. So if they get it right, they're going to go to question two. And if they get it incorrect, they will go to question two, revisit. Question two, revisit. And question two, revisit. Now you cannot have more than one question with branching in a section. So you could have other questions in this section, but they wouldn't be able to determine whether or not they proceed within the quiz. So then I come down here to question one. So I'm gonna add another question. I'm gonna give them the chance to answer it again. Maybe I wanna word it slightly differently. three dots. I'm going to shuffle the option order. I don't need to go to section based on answer if I'm only giving them one chance. But one of the things that's nice, especially about the revisit section, is I can add an image, I can just add text, and I can add a video. So I'm going to click add video, and it's searching YouTube. So maybe I want to add something where they could watch this. Select drag this up. Now this is not a question, it's just a video. Watch this video and then answer the question. I could add just text. Text is not a question. So if I want to just give them a note. I can just give some information that that would help them to answer the next question. So when I'm in the revisit section, I recommend that you add videos, that you add images, and you add texts that are not questions, but supports 
to help them answer the question. Then I come over here to question two. I'm going to add a question in question two. And again, I need to go to the three dots. I like to shuffle the option order. And I'm going to go to section based on answer. And so if they get it right, they're going to go to the end of the quiz. And, whoops, actually that one's not the right answer. So they're going to go to question two, revisit. If they get it right, they're going to go to the end of the quiz. And if they get it wrong, they're going to go to question two, revisit. And in question two, revisit, I would put in my supports. And then I can add my question. And three dots. Shuffle the option order, but not go to the question. And it's going to then end the quiz, and I've got this one that I don't need, so I'm going to delete it. Now, my personal favorite is to always click on responses and click on the spreadsheet icon. This is completely unnecessary for a branching quiz, but because I love spreadsheets so much, I want to make sure that you know that you can create a new spreadsheet for your branching quiz.